All right, so let's go here. Uh, this tool, not a big fan of. However, what he says does carry a lot of weight. He's been around a while, started this little company. Uh, it's going to replace many jobs. Okay, I mean, we've heard this, right? I've not seen it replace any yet, but including doctors, right? But here's what I want to focus on. So I would have said, number one, 10 years is, is way too soon. And I would have said, will it aid teachers in teaching? I would have said, yeah, absolutely. Replace is going to be a hard sell. However, I have been creating my own GPT and I have been interacting with it. And uh, the amount of interaction I'm doing with it is more than I would have expected. Anyway, so I'm kind of thinking out loud or not thinking at all. I'm just got a lot of white space there in my brain. What I think we're going to is this this interaction is this key, right? So when you got your teacher up here, right, she's up here or he's up there and he's got that board and he's writing shit out and you're like here on your phone or uh, asleep in the chair. Uh, why? Because Because this is boring. Even if it's something you love, it's boring. It's hard to continually watch a course, whether it's given by a fantastic college prof or an idiot or by someone online. It's hard to sit and watch that take everything in for any period of time. As a matter of fact, uh, I think I remember years ago, I remember reading that it's 13 minutes. 13 minutes. All right, so 13 minutes seems to be the time uh, that most humans can sit and be engaged all right and that's really about it before the learning falls off now i think this interactivity is going to be a game changer because it almost forces you to learn like what's the next thing once i'm done with this and it's published uh, hopefully the people taking it you can also give me your feedback and that would be great and i think your feedback will change like this this is going to change after you take this or start interacting with this and learning from this right? It's going to change your outlook. Anyway, what do you think? 10 years? Teacher's gone? I don't think so, but I honestly believe this is one of those game changers in terms of learning, and I believe it's because of interactivity. Your ability to go back and forth with this model is going to help you learn. All right, now, enough of that. Uh, let's talk about my uh, the data janitor. Here you can see is my most recent post please go sign up now if you don't like something don't unsubscribe like i i can tell like for this one i knew that this was going to be one where i was going to get some people unsubscribing and most almost everyone that's read it so far doesn't like it i don't know why like why if i say prove to me that artificial intelligence is racist prove to me that the models are racist now what's comical is you can't defend it or you can't counter anything i'm saying in the article uh, maybe it's just the way I write the article because I think it's such bullshit. But no, it's not racist or biased. Uh, Proof to me. If you think it is, let, let's start a conversation. Two things to look out for. Hyperfocus is almost ready. A complete personal GPT for you to interact with, to learn everything you need to learn for the tech interview for SQL Server. And don't forget to sign up to my newsletter. Even if you don't like the article, there's more coming. On what's today? Wednesday, I'm releasing one on uh, the high level mechanics, the mechanics of gradient boosters, gradient boosters, including everyone's favorite booster, um, XG Boost. All right, so I'm going to tell you how this works at a very high level no math, a lot of pictures, and just a basic understanding of how the model works. Thank you. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.